menopause fatigue and you know there are many 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 symptoms that happen with menopause and um it may surprise you to know that fatigue <laughs> and tiredness is one of them so i think it's a useful conversation to have because many of us simply accept the tiredness or fatigue as you know we've had a stressful day or if we're doing so many different things but i really want us to have that kind of consciousness especially if you're going through the perimenopause so you have you're still seeing your periods but you're experiencing different changes in your body that you know could suggest that menopause is maybe a few years down the line so it's important to be aware of it so menopause fatigue is a thing it's it exists it's a common symptom that many women going through menopause or who are perimenopausal or are actually already in menopause can experience and it can be i know you say fatigue fatigue is fatigue tiredness is tiredness i appreciate that but tiredness can be different to some degree so let's just talk about what it might look like when it comes to menopause and how it might be different from tiredness because you know you've had a very busy day at work or tiredness because you're feeling stressed or tiredness because um, there's certain you know conditions that can be associated with tiredness for example being diabetic for example where blood sugars are not controlled can result in tiredness having damaged organs kidney um, failure liver failure all this could be associated with tiredness okay now specifically when it comes to menopause the symptoms are happening because of this fluctuation in the levels of estrogen and progesterone the hormones and so this can affect the energy levels but they can also and they do also affect sleep so it's really important to keep that in mind many women as they enter into perimenopause begin to experience disruption to their sleep patterns so they may experience difficult difficulty in getting to sleep or find that they're waking up during sleep uh, during the night hours and not able to get into sleep so insomnia is something that many women struggle with but in addition to that there are also symptoms like the hot flashes and the night sweats that could make it difficult to settle down if your body is if you're sweating if you're feeling very hot that can contribute to a poor sleep experience and of course that will translate to fatigue menopause can also bring around emotional changes or mood changes anxiety and depression i think in our very last live stream was one of the things that we talked about if not that one then the one before that we talked about menopause anxiety um, and experiencing those can also contribute to fatigue mental fatigue that can translate to just that feeling of physical exhaustion or tiredness as well so and during menopause women can also experience several other symptoms that can just wear you down so whether it is the recurrent urinary infections whether it is the joint pains or joint stiffness um, experiencing headaches heartburn different things that could just wear a person down and contribute to tiredness so those are some of the experiences that women could have. And um, the other thing I wanted us to look at is how it can be different from other types of tiredness. Because, you know, you can come and sit down and see your doctor complaining about tiredness generally. And we usually would need to go through a lot of questions with you and look at doing quite a few tests to work out because many, many health conditions can be associated with tiredness but for menopause it's quite it's a persistent enduring tiredness it does it doesn't lift even you know we've just been talking about not having enough sleep but even sleep and rest doesn't exactly lift that tiredness it's a type of tiredness where you might get some sleep you might okay let me i didn't sleep very well in the night let me sleep in a nice cool room for two or three hours you may get that sleep but the tiredness is persistent i don't know if, if, if anyone has experienced that please let us know in the comment section or just share share with us you know so it's that type of tiredness and it is usually associated with other menopausal symptoms so that's another clue that we might be dealing with menopause fatigue where the periods might be irregular you, you might be experiencing hot sweats at the same time um, changes to the mood as well or joint stiffness and aches that might be what is going on and alongside the tiredness that is a clue and that differentiates this from other types of uh, tiredness and of course it will affect if you've not slept if you're exhausted of course it will significantly affect every other aspect of your life so not being able to concentrate not being able to work as effectively as usual just not being able to enjoy interacting with your loved ones your friends you know lack of motivation so it can really dull your enjoyment of of life so it, i know it's like the point i'm trying to make is that while tiredness can be um something that women experience in so many different conditions it can happen in menopause and sometimes you can just sort of sit and think of all the other things you're going through 
and if you notice that there is a pattern in the, in the type of tiredness that you're experiencing, that might be a clue based on some of these things I've said that um, suggest that this is menopause that's going on. So generally, we usually wouldn't do any blood tests specifically to make a diagnosis of menopause. It's usually, especially here in the UK, it's usually a clinical diagnosis unless you're having um, symptoms like hot flushes or night sweats at a very young age. So late, late 30s, for example, not when we don't expect you to be menopausal, then, um, then we might request the blood test to see what is going on. But usually we will go by the symptoms that you're describing, your age, um, the changes changes to your period pattern and so on that will indicate that this is most likely menopause. So the key to that is listening, trying to tease out exactly what else is going on, what other symptoms that you're having. And of course, if there are issues like sleep problems, you can be referred to a sleep specialist to look into things. If there are specific joint problems or troubles with the stomach or bowel or urine infections, if those things are in the mix, then we can arrange treatment and review of those different things what about treatment it is treatable okay especially when we're talking about men menopause fatigue and i think it's important to say that it's, well, i'm not just going to say hrt and then everything is fine it is treatable i think it's important to look at do we need to make any changes in terms of your immediate lifestyle do you need to look at exercising more changing your diet could we look at the setup of your bedroom, introducing better ventilation, a fan and all that to help to include sleep, improve sleep, air conditioning unit and so on? Can we look at your stress situation? Are you under a lot of work-related stress or stress at home? Are there things like meditation or yoga, breathing exercises or mindfulness um, or activities that you can undertake to manage stress, um, taking up less activity, delegating and so on? Those are the things to think about. Then, of course, we'll think about medication, including things like hormone replacement therapy. Um, for some people who are going through mood-related problems that need antidepressants or anti-anxiety medicines, then we can prescribe those for them as well. Um, some women may also experience low vitamin levels, and that's important too. Things like vitamin D could be... A lot of us are walking around with very low vitamin D levels, and it's really important to check that as well and ensure that that is not what is responsible and if that can be treated that would also help to improve the symptoms so <laughs> these are the things i wanted to talk about um, when it comes to menopause fatigue i do hope somebody's found it useful 